Hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. Today we're going to be looking at the new Lightwave frames in Lightwave 2024. So, if you're like me, I'm not a massive expert on nodes, but I'm getting there and I'm learning them. However, when I use nodes, sometimes it can get quite a bit complicated. If you're using uh, someone else's nodes, uh, th that is very complicated. That can cause you lots of problems. So, with frames, this is a great way to organise nodes, but also give you and other viewers instructions about what they actually do. So, what I want to do is just show you the basics of nodes, so it'll help you going forward. So, what I've got in this scene, I've just got a basic uh, UV textured ball that I've got a preset uh, surface that I'm creating. So, if I was going to give this to someone to use and understand you could this i could use frames to explain it so for instance i've got these two nodes here which is the actual gray part you see the gray part coming up the different color that blends into the orange so what i could do is you select so i'm holding shift down these two nodes or you can click and drag around them right mouse click and you go down to uh frame selected and this will put a frame around them and then you can move this around wherever you want or you can take these and drag them out once you've done this uh, if you want you can choose the edges and start st stretching them and so on uh, if you go to the actual name of the frame and right mouse click you click edit it will bring up this panel so you can choose the color of the frame so let's make it a gray color and let me put a note for whoever is viewing this and wants to understand what it is so i can put down this is uh let's put so i've put these are the gray parts of the color or should i say colors colors on the surfaces uh, and let's just call this gray surface and then press ok so now it's gone to a gray and it's changed the, the heading and it's also put the text in white so obviously I've made it grey and the background's grey so maybe that's not a great colour so again right mouse click edit and then we can just change it to whatever colour we want and okay and like so and let's, so let's move this up so the next part again like I said you can grab the sides uh, the edges and make them smaller and move them around uh, if I wanted to uh, so if with this one let's select these three so these three nodes here uh, these drive the displacement so this is all the mountain range coming up so this is like a lava land I've called it so once I've selected these three nodes if I right mouse click go down to frame selected and they're all in here and then up the edge let's go to edit and let's call this uh, displacement Uh, let's give it a colour. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and then, so these nodes drive the displacements. So you can obviously play around with the the actual settings. So, for instance, with this, I'm using a light wave procedural. So to do that, you need to use the octane image to, to be able to make it work with the displacement of the actual octane surface. Uh, but let's say, for instance. I wanted you could you can actually click on a on a node on its own that's in part of it uh, in this frame and uh, you can actually right mouse click and then fit to select a node and what it will do it'll just go to that one node if you want uh, like so but I don't want it I want it to be all of those like so and I've dragged it back out and as I'm dragging it back out it's it's going around the original two owns which captures it inside this node as you can see and then the, the last bit is the emission so the emission color that's where this orange does and it's got a bit of a glow as well so this is where this is all to do with so again if i go down selected nodes 
right mouse click on the actual uh, bar let's pull, call this emission nodes uh, so really simple these nodes are for the orange colors and glow let's just make it an orangey color like so like that and and there you have it the the, the kind of free different ones you've got i mean you've got shortcuts for this as well so control f if you want to to create a frame so for this projection here if i if i select it and then control f uh, that will add a node around it so this is projection that's driving so each one of these is a uv mesh so it's got a uv mesh and i'm using it to drive each part of this so they're all the same so for this again i would like edit call it projection Give it a colour of whatever colour you want. Uh, I'm just putting change the projection as you need, because. But this, like for instance, uh, in this scene, I've also got a, a cube and a land plane that I've, I've copied this same texture over to make sure it works. And it might be that if you're going from, uh, they've all got UV meshes, but for the for the ground plane, it might be easier to kind of say, okay, I'm going to just do it as a, a box. And but that's up to you. And then it's as easy as that, really. I mean, I haven't gone into it too much. You can, if you want to, you can also embed uh, links in here that will work. And if you right mouse click, you've got remove frames, uh, and then you've got select contents with inside it, and so on. But yeah, it's really simple and really useful. So when I, if I pass this surface preset surface to someone and they're not that great on, on nodes and they open it up and then they'll look and this is giving them the information so they can think, all oh, right. So if I wanted to come in here and I wanted to change uh, some of the node settings, I can come in here and start playing around with the the colours. So I can like change what's happening within this surface of this node so hopefully this has helped it's a really easy and useful function so thanks for listening